Today, many cities and city quarters all over the world, not just in North America, are planned as blocks on a grid pattern. But how big exactly should these blocks be? Let's find out. My name is Lucas and this is Mind the Map. Let's take a look at the typical block sizes of four American cities. First, there's Portland with 264 times 264 feet, the smallest block size here, followed by Sacramento, California with 410 times 410 feet blocks. New York City is known for its rectangular blocks, which measure 264 times 900 feet. The by far biggest blocks can be found in Salt Lake City, Utah, with a humongous size of 792 times 792 feet. So which size exactly is ideal? As you might have guessed, planners now prefer smaller blocks, for several reasons. Today, one of the biggest trends in planning is improving walkability, which is why smaller blocks are generally considered better. You can explore cities with smaller blocks more easily, choose different routes around the city and take the literal walk around the block. And while there obviously is no perfect block size, about 275 feet in one direction are recommended. This is the distance an average walker can walk in a minute. New York City makes the case for a bigger block size. In Manhattan, commercial avenues run from north to south and are known to be very busy and loud which is why the interior most portions of the blocks remain a rather quiet place in an otherwise bustling city. But even here, mid-block shortcuts, exclusively open to pedestrians, could improve walkability and quality of life. I want to say thank you to you for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe. And I want to say thank you for the support I've been receiving in the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's, it's just amazing. I really enjoy making these video essays and I want to improve in the future. Um, so thank you Reddit, thank you YouTube, thank you to everyone who's been subscribing, liking, commenting. Uh, have a great day and I, I really have to say I enjoy this so much. Thank you.